something when they know that it's wrong. So that's why it's not, oh, I'm just trying to say this is a white girl getting what I deserve, what she knows I deserve. It's no, you leaning more into your whiteness. Let's admit that. That's why you are a Karen. Don't try to don't try to make it seem like Nicki Minaj is bullying the white girls. That wasn't that. <laughs> oh my god. Okay. I I'm definitely not gonna speak on that specifically, but what I will say is and all the smart people know, being a Karen is doing something like what's happening now you know you know it's wrong and you being a Karen is is more about being uh manipulative and being passive aggressive mm -hmm. and um knowing that being a fed the, right thank you but mm -hmm. look this is a, an example it's a great example if you think about it and white people and white women have used it for years, and that's why the, the term was created. If a white woman living in a white neighborhood sees a black man, and this goes back for years and years, if that woman accuses that black man of doing something, she knows that when that white police officer comes, he gonna arrest that black man because there's already a stereotype of the black man being all of these negative. So so she can easily pretend to be innocent and sweet in front of the cop because she knows that that cop don't like that black man either. Mm -hmm. So she can so she can come on that black man's property, she can curse, she can antagonize people, and then she can pretend that, you know, she's the sweetest person on the planet. That's what uh, being a Karen is about. And I'm not speaking about any specific person. Uh, that's what Karens do. We see it on the videos all the time. So if you knew you were lying on me, right? And then got me attacked while you played innocent, then that's what a Karen means. Doesn't I mean goodness gracious, Papa Bear is two years old and he could understand that. The fuck? This, this, 